Okay guys, we're looking at the iType keyboard for Android. Remember, like if you're picking up an Android device, you have the ability to try different keyboards and maybe one keyboard to another might actually change your perception of, wow, I can actually type. Because honestly, I would say the BlackBerry Z10 is number one best keyboard on a, a cell phone and number two would be the iPhone uh, keyboard because honestly I could type I could blazing type on that uh, keyboard right here so it will bring up uh, input languages edit text help uh, send feedback so you can go here and it's gonna have you you can type in a lot of predetermined words that you normally use and it will automatically recognize them for shortcuts like you can say please call me no big deal Later, dude. Just wondering. I totally agree. I'm confused. And so on. So uh, this keyboard is really uh, customizable and it's really good if you're an iPhone user coming to Android. So, so if you're used to using an iPhone and you want a, a similar keyboard, this is what I um, keyboard it looks like. And pretty much to me, it's very easy and very quick. It's to me, it's better than the stock Samsung Galaxy S3 keyboard because I, I mess up a lot when I type on it. You cannot do swipe on this keyboard, so if you're a big swipe user, that feature is not going to be usable for you. But one thing I do notice is up at the top you have predetermined uh, text, which they uh, predetermine that what you're going to use what most people say like hello how are you dear please and you could go here and uh, it will bring up some other details you can do it in portrait and landscape mode and you still have the ability to use the uh, Google voice like the uh, microphone on this keyboard which is still a cool feature and I'll type something in right now I'll hold the phone down like this and as you can see I'll type something in really quickly And as you see, the phone, uh, or the keyboard, I should say, actually responds pretty quickly. And as you hear, it'll, it'll charm every time it auto-corrects a uh, misspelled word. So you can go something like, and I always type with one hand, be, one thumb, because I'm used to uh, typing on a uh, Blackberry, so... And as you see, boom. And I'm running 4G LTE. So if you guys are looking into getting a very cool customizable um, keyboard and you're used to using the iPhone, I would highly recommend picking this up. One reason why I think I, I am better typing on this than the uh, stock Samsung Galaxy S3 keyboard, because if you look, the keys are a lot uh, wider and bigger and I think that's a lot more easier for me to use so with that said that is that is AI type keyboard that's what you could type in if you go into the uh, Google Play Store just type in iPhone keyboards and this keyboard will come up customization and honestly the best keyboard I've ever used on a touchscreen would still have to go to the BlackBerry Z10 because honestly that keyboard is the best but I still recommend uh, if you're not really into touch screens because I know a lot of people are frustrated when it comes to touching on a, a keyboard when they type so uh, so with that said guys remember to rate even if you hate comment and subscribe and I'll definitely see you guys in the next video but I just want to uh, let everybody know that this keyboard is very usable very nice. Um, that's why I love Android because you can do so much.